So what do you have to say for yourself? Nothing. <laughs> you, you just shouldn't. <laughs> you just shouldn't. I don't even know what I was thinking. I you weren't. So so trail hoppers, let let's let's just let's replay this. Babe sitting over there. As handsome as he want to be. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, don't get slow your road cuz <laughs> when they find out what you did. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to show you something. And I want y'all to guess what happened. So we're going to look at the fire ring. <laughs> Can y'all see that burgundy looking color? Can y'all see that? Okay. Now what else out here is burgundy? Whatever. <gasps> His shoes. So babe, you want to tell the trail hoppers? How that burgundy color that matches the burgundy shoes that's on your feet got on the fire ring? I got comfortable. Oh, you don't say. I don't even know what I was thinking about. You weren't. So now my, my shoes is all messed up. Uh, let, let's let's see if we can get this on camera. Look, look at that. Look, 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 look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Just a whole melted part. Right there. here, let me help you hold your foot up. Look look at that. And these was his good shoes. <laughs> <laughs> my foot started getting hot. My foot started getting so I thought my shoe was on fire. It was almost on fire. Look how big of that, that gash is in that shoe. It was almost down to my to my to my skin. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I just you, got, you weren't. You got, I just got too. I got too comfortable. Trail <sighs> hoppers don't get comfortable around the fire because you make mistakes. We need Smokey out here, Smokey the Bear. <laughs> we need to take this back to again <laughs> elementary school. <laughs> oh man, I don't know. I don't know what happened, man. I, I don't. I don't understand why you would even prop your foot up on the fire ring. I don't know. I wasn't even thinking about it. Oh, I guess I got to order some new shoes now. You think? I don't. First of all, I don't even. First of all, I'm not even sure why you had your good shoes on out here anyway. Because I didn't feel like walking to the truck to get my boots. So my, you keep your good shoes on. To be out here in the mud. And you know, you ain't like you got that many pairs of shoes. No. At least I know what to get me for my birthday. I don't know, Trill Hoppers. I don't know what to say. I'm ashamed of myself. You should be. You should be. Well. You should. <laughs> Cairo, Peso. Who, Leave them folks alone. Who do they see? The little kids. Y'all some grumpy little somethings, ain't y'all? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Back to this one. <laughs> you need to be in timeout. Pay so. Messing, we'll up, messing up your shoes. You need to be on punishment. Well, I'm about to go in the trailer then. You want to tend to the fire? I'm not. Yeah. I don't know. Although I should have been. Because maybe this wouldn't have happened. <laughs> what can I say? All right. Welcome back, Trail Hoppers. We are out here at Alum Creek State Park. And... You know, we having a good time. Wifey had to work today, so I'm solo for a little while. So I thought, what better time to do some troubleshooting on some things that I've been uh, having on my list of things to do. And so we were going to try to get some of those things done today. So we have a, a Suburban Advantage hot water heater. And it is supposed to 
uh, have the dual function so it can either, you know, be electric or run off the propane. And so, as you know, propane is a real commodity when you're out here camping, especially in the wintertime. And so we want to try to preserve uh, as much propane as we can, but it does not appear that the electrical part of the hot water tank is working properly. And so we're going to go out there, get the power shut down, go out there, get the panel taken off just so we can try to see what's going on. So let's get into it. Let's ride. Alright, trail hopper so we got everything set up here and we got everything opened up and so we are going to run some tests so we're going to be using our uh multimeter today and the first thing we're going to test is we want to make sure that the hot water tank uh make sure that the heating element is getting uh power so we got it here and we're gonna check the volts on it. So we should be getting about 120 volts on this. And so in this situation, polarity is not going to matter. So we are going to get our leads on there. And so it looks like right now, I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, we are getting about 121.8 volts. So that means we got good power going to the heating element and so what we are going to do now is get the power turned off and then we're going to test the resistance to see if the heating element itself is bad and so we're going to get this power turned off be back with you all right so we got the power turned off and before we test the resistance we're going to just check make sure that our power is off so we're going to get our leads on there. And there you go. So everything is at zero. So it's zeroed out. And so now we're going to go ahead and check the resistance to see if the heating element is bad. And so we will get that turned here to resistance. And we'll get our leads on there. Again, polarity in this situation does not matter and look at that so it's still showing it open it's still showing that it's open and that means that our heating element is bad and so that's why the electric part of the hot water tank is not working and so we are going to get um we'll get a new heating element ordered and so just to show the resistance when I touch the leads together, right? It gives us a it gives us a reading. Now, it's not going to be that much that's going through these leads, but at least we see the numbers changing. When they're not touching, it means it's open. And so again, when we test it, 
we put it on the terminals here, it's still showing open. So there's a problem with the heating element itself. So that's good to know. So we are gonna go ahead, like I said, and get another one ordered. And then we should be back in action with the heating element on our hot water tank. And what this is going to uh, allow us to do is it's going to allow us um, to run strictly off of electric so, so that we don't have to run off of propane. And that will save us propane in the long run. And so that's a good thing. And so we'll get this heating element ordered and then we'll probably do a, a, a tu tutorial on how to change the heating element in your hot water tank on your RV. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, see what wifey is gonna cook up for dinner and uh, get some dinner, maybe get a campfire going tonight. I don't know, we'll see how things play out. Let's ride. So wifey just got off work. And so, you know what guys, uh, we better get this trailer cleaned up because uh, it's gonna be a whole situation. Let me get some light in here. Oh, it's gonna be a whole situation if I don't get this trailer cleaned up. I got my stuff everywhere. So I am going to get the trailer cleaned up, let the dogs out. It was raining a little bit earlier, and so um, I wanted to start a fire, but I don't know if I'm going to start a fire now, if it's going to be raining for a long time. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens, but I'm going to go ahead and get this trailer cleaned up so that wifey ain't uh, on me when she get here. Ask me what I've been doing all day. I've been working. It looked like we got some people coming out here camping. For the longest time, it was just us out here. But it looked like we got some people. We got some people coming in now, so. Nothing that I'm looking for. All right. I can't find my laundry basket. So, let me use one of these Kroger bags that I got from today. So, one thing when we go camping to save time is we like to. Um, order our groceries and have them picked up now we haven't had to got to the point where we order the groceries and just have them delivered to the trailer we will at least still go to the store and pick them up but i'm not trying to walk through no grocery store so ordering them online is what we do cairo and peso sitting here on my nerves They've been my road dogs for real this week. Let's see my little tumbler. Got my little tumbler rocking. I got my name. Now see, I put my name on the side because I don't want wifey to be drinking out my cup. So since the kids don't camp with us that much anymore, we kind of use the bunkhouse as our storage slash changing room slash whatever you can use it for. That's what we use it for. I'm going to put this space heater I'm going to put this space heater in our bedroom just in case wifey get cold. So today we're only running the thermostat at 70 which is still a little bit warm for me, but my wife would like to be warmer than that sometimes, so I'll just toss that in there for now.
So one thing I thought about doing is taking out part of the bunkhouse and converting it into an office back there. But I guess I won't make a decision on that until I decide if we're gonna keep our rig or not. Uh, if we're gonna keep it and just keep it and give it to the kids, once they get older, um, then I'll do some modifications to it. But if I'm gonna trade it back in, I'm, I'm not gonna change the bunkhouse that much because I don't wanna lose any possible value. Just need to make sure the next rig got office or some kind of office space in it. So when I put those recliners in uh, right there, when I put these recliners in, There used to be a uh, bed, like the little uh, futon style bed. And it used to be another bench right here where Cairo was at. But I tore that thing out. This this is definitely uh, better suited for what we like. They are super comfortable. And so it created a space for the dogs to kind of hang out so that they are out of the way. Well, trail hoppers, look who finally made it. There's wifey. Finally made it. From where? How was work today? It was fine. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Got your little chips and guac. Mm -hmm. And my water and lemonade. Water and lemonade. Yeah, we got any more lemonade left? I think so. You want some? Yeah. Just a little bit. So trail hoppers, we are getting ready to get wifey some lemonade. Mm -hmm. That's fine. That's they just taking a couple of extra on. Got to come back. So we gonna get got wifey some lemonade. Oh, trail hoppers, we got a surprise for you guys. We got a surprise for you guys. Yeah, we got a surprise for the trail hoppers. Trail hoppers, look who it is. By the police. What's up, Big Lake? What up? Say what's up to the trail hoppers. What up, bro? Why you in here sitting in the dark? Because I'm watching How to Get Away with Murder. <laughs> trail hoppers, why you here sitting in the dark? Crazy. Got a whole TV. This, this is this is how kids be. They got a whole TV right there. And he over there. Because the fire stick not working. What you mean? I can't. What's wrong with it? I don't know. Did you plug it into the USB on the TV? Of course. And it, the TV got to be on in order to get the fire stick. Well, yeah, I had it on. I had it on. It wasn't working. Big leak with us today. <coughs> so. So, yeah. So, trail hoppers, we getting ready to get some dinner going. So, we're going to get you guys set up right here. Because y'all know we be chefing it up in the kitchen. And so, we want y'all to be able to see what we got going on tonight so trail hoppers we out here camping but tonight we doing something different da, 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 da. chicken voila that's gonna be our meal for tonight oh is, is, is it voila or voila you did not ask me that <laughs> <laughs> Is it voila or voila? Are you being serious? Yeah, is that how you say it? voila? Voila? Voila. But it's with a V though. Right, but don't it have that little marky thing over top of it? Nah. Voila. Like, like, like. So it's voila. Like, like a magician. Voila. I don't know, Shaw Hoppers. What's that uh, enunciation thing you do on your phone? Do that. Uh, I don't know where my phone is at. Trail hoppers, what you think? Is it voila or voila? You? As good as big age. There you go. <laughs> as good as big age, you don't know what it is. <laughs> anyway, trail hoppers, we're going to get That's like a, uh, um, what's, what's the words? The what? The words that you learn in elementary school. 
whatever. What you call those words? I don't know. Well, whatever we're gonna you get, call, that's what it is. We're going to get this dinner cooking tonight. We're going to be back at you. Let's ride. Come on, Peso. What's up, trail hoppers? What a beautiful morning. It is going to be out here at Alum Creek State Park. So it seems like it's still raining a little bit, but I think it's supposed to stop raining later on this afternoon. But we are up early out here with the dogs. Cairo and Peso. See them over there. I gotta get a spotlight so I can see them. They blend in too well with the background. So, but, anyways, about 6 30 almost. 6 30 a.m. out here. As you can see, there's nothing to see here. Cairo, get over here. So we are gonna do some running around today. It's that time in a young man's life where they get their driver's license. So, we got to drop Big Leak off at his driver's ed class. And he's going to be there for about four hours today. So we're just going to drop him off. Our daughter is going to pick him up so he can get his hair done. You guys know he's on this locks journey. So... He's going to go get his hair retwisted so we can get ready to do his senior pictures. And so, yeah, we're just going to chill out today and enjoy this beautiful weather. I think it's supposed to be about 55 degrees. And so we are definitely going to take advantage of that. We love getting in these pre-spring camping trips. And so, we're going to do that today, Trail Hoppers. So, we're going to get us some good breakfast going. And then we're going to get into our day. Let's ride.
so we absolutely love cooking while we are out here on the trails for me cooking is one of the favorite things I like to do out here um, I absolutely love cooking good food I love to eat and that's why I can't lose no weight but it's alright trail hoppers I'm going to be nice and warm in the winter time that's for sure and so I love when we have all the family out here and we all cook together eat together and laugh together so those are the really the memorable things that I like about family. So, what are some of the things that you guys like to do? Let me know down in the comments. So we can see if we can incorporate some of those things into our traditions. Or maybe even possibly, you know, impart some of our traditions into your lives. Who knows? Right. Hopper's breakfast was amazing. The rest of the crew is finally getting up. As the saying goes, sleep late, lose weight. So it's time to take Big Leak the driver's in. So we're gonna get this kitchen cleaned up. Watch some Saturday morning cartoons. What's up, trail hoppers? It's your boy Big Week. You already know. Um, doing his big one, of course. Um, yeah, stay for me smooth. I'm gonna go drop his head. I'm probably going. I'm gonna go to my sister, get my hair done. About time I got a retwist. Been too long. I like Tyra. Hello, Pesa. All right, trail hoppers, we have had a wonderful morning. So it is approaching mid morning now, and I'm gonna go to the shower house. So wifey is in the trailer right now, and she is going to go ahead and get ready in there. So I figured. Why not? I don't know why wifey. Look how look how close she parked to the look at that. Look at that trail hoppers. Let me see if you guys see that. I mean really, really wifey. So while she's doing that, I'm gonna grab my shower shoes out of the truck here. And head down to the shower house. It's a beautiful day out here. And so. So we're going to get showered up, get dressed, and then we are going to light a fire and just chill out. So winter camping is more so about just hanging out. So we gonna hang out. We gonna hang out. And so I'll see how many people are down here in the bathroom. If it's not a lot, I'll give you guys a little preview of what's going on. So let's get to it. Let's ride. All right, so the shower house here at Owl Creek, 
the state park. They have three showers here in this main shower area. We are in the shower section B. They got three showers, two stalls, you know. And the thing we like about this park is that they are open all winter. And so that's why we like to camp here in the winter time. And so when we're camping out here, camping in the winter time, when it drops below freezing and we can't use our facilities, we got the shower house right there. And it works out pretty well. So you can kind of see, we like to stay on B20. That's one of our favorite sites. And so you can see how close it is relative to where the shower house is. And that's why we like it. And so all of these sites right here on row B are full hookups. And so we tend to stay in those. So we get ready to get this fire going. Enjoy this beautiful day. And just sit out, have some good conversation and company. So let's go check on wifey and see what she got going on. Well, 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 trail hoppers. Look who finally decided to come on out, out the camper. Now, trail hoppers, wifey bundled up like we got snow on the ground today. It's what, fit almost 60 degrees? It's it's a whole 48. <laughs> that is not almost 60. It's 48. That's almost 60 degrees. It's not almost 60. 40, 48 degrees is by our house. Right here. Hello. It is. Is that Delaware? Yes. Let me see. It's 48 going on 60 trail hoppers. Don't let her fool you. How is it 48 going on 60? The temperature about to start dropping. The fire is keeping you warm. Well, trail hoppers, when I came out here with 60 degrees three hours ago. You have not been out here for three hours. I'm trying not to... Trail hoppers, look at my wood pile. You guys saw it when it first started. Wifey was in there just chilling. I guess she needed a break from me. No, I took a break this morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So, let me tell you, trail hoppers. So... Like I said, you guys knew that we we said it, that uh, Big Lake had to go to Driver's Ed. So, wifey was supposed to go drop Malik off at Driver's Ed and come right back. And I did. No, she did. Trail hoppers. She went and dropped Malik off. She called me at 9 o'clock. Said, hey, I'm on my way back. I got to stop and get some dishwashing liquid so we can wash our dishes, right? Nine o'clock, trail hoppers. 12.30 roll around, 
why she still ain't back that's not true i got back i got back like a little after 12 a little after 12 she dropped malik off and said she was on her way back at nine so how was that coming straight back we live 30 minutes away we we camping 30 minutes away from driver's ed so the math ain't mathing right now so wifey come back she got a bath and body works bag she got walmart bag and then and then trail hoppers she gonna say i got stuck by a train for an hour <laughs> i said no you didn't she said yes i did and i took a picture i said there ain't no train tracks where we camping at so she sends me the picture but she forgets to redact the street <laughs> <laughs> so yeah she 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 over stuck by a train by the walmart where she wasn't even supposed to be at you said you needed rv antifreeze yeah but i could have got that later when huh when i could have i could have did that when we get home you made it seem like you needed it before we got back home. No. You did. You mentioned it. So th that means you needed it before we got back home. Trailhoppers, any excuse to go to the store while we camping. Wifey is all over it. So wifey been gone 90% of the trip. <laughs> I have not. I've been camping. I might as well have been solo camping this weekend. I've been here the whole time. <laughs> it's just been me and the dogs. It hasn't. I was I was here yesterday. My, my wood almost gone. It's it's almost gone because it's probably cheap. What you mean it's probably cheap? It burned fast. It burned fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you go with. Yeah. I don't know trail hoppers. It's all good. The places in which I went, I needed to go to. So you wanted house shoes, didn't you? Yeah, because be, if you was going to a store that had house shoes, yeah. And that's what happened. See, what happens is I always take my trailer shoes home and so this time I'm going to make sure that I leave the house shoes in the trailer so that I always have house shoes when I'm when we out here in the trailer Cairo Cairo going to get sick today y'all is he eating sticks? he, he going to get sick today Cairo love to eat sticks and grass and grass yeah I'm talking about you We got to keep him chained up on a leash because he'll run off. He'll run off and start chasing stuff. He like to go hunting. Peso, on the other hand, he just going to sit right there behind the chair. He ain't going nowhere. Until he see another dog. Oh, yeah. Peso think he the, the biggest dog on the yard, so he going to run up on anybody. But we are having a good time out here. We're going to keep the fire going. I don't like this. It's so muddy. I know. The mud is kind of kind of the downside, but that's what you get when you're out here uh, winter camping. All the snow and everything keeps the ground wet. Let's stoke this fire. Hey now, trail hoppers. We getting ready to get this dinner started. I'm gonna make some sloppy joe. Sloppy joe! 
and um, we're going to use some ground chicken for this. I got a good deal on it at the... Now, I thought you sent me to the store for <laughs> and we have some. <laughs> where'd I come from? It, where'd I keep it? I should have, I knew I should have looked. I knew I should have looked myself. I knew it. <laughs> you sent me to the store to get, I can't even, you sent me to the store to get dishwashing liquid and we had some down there. Did you even look down there? Yeah. And how'd you miss it? Because as soon as I opened the thing up, it's right there. I don't know. <sighs> Ridiculous. Yes, I did rinse the can. Now, that was one thing my grandma was a stickler for. You don't fool around without rinsing them cans off. So I rinsed it off in some hot water before I um, opened You're supposed it. to rinse the can? Uh-huh, that's what grandma did. Oh, well. So, I guess we've been living on a hope and a prayer. Oh. Me. You don't rinse the cans when you cook? Nah, I just pop it open and dump it in. won't be cooking <laughs> <laughs> not no more all right trail hoppers that is a wrap for this episode of hopping the trails with the hopkins hey if you could be so kind be sure to like and subscribe to our channel we hope to keep you laughing and keep the content rolling at the end of this trip wifey was too through with me so until next time let's ride